Hey, how are you? Today we're talking boomers. No, not the type that's been getting cyberbullied on TikTok for saddling future generations with insurmountable debt. I'm talking magic mushrooms, aka types of fungus that contain psilocybin, a naturally occurring psychoactive compound that when digested will make you trip balls. And as it turns out, humans throughout history, from cavemen to Cali bros, have been getting blitzed off these things. Shrooms were especially popular amongst ancient Mesoamerican cultures, most notably the Aztecs, who referred to them as Tionanacatl, which literally translates to flesh of the gods. Catholic missionaries reported that the Aztec upper class would often eat shrooms with chocolate and honey at festivals and spend the rest of the night dancing, crying, or staring off into space wondering why they have eyebrows. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun, and not much different than a modern day fish concert. What doesn't sound like fun is that Aztecs are also believed to have fed mushrooms to prisoners they were planning on sacrificing. What could be scarier than having a priest rip your heart out in front of thousands of people and then throwing your corpse on a zillion steps? Being absolutely zooted while all of that is happening to you. Anyways, the Catholic Church felt threatened by these magic mushrooms, and can you blame them? It's kind of tough for a Catholic priest to convince his congregation that communion wafers are the body of Christ when there's an Aztec priest across town giving his followers a fungus called flesh of the gods, which seems to be actually giving people visions of God, or in the church's eyes, the devil. So in 1521, they made tripping on shrooms illegal upon punishment of death, and their use in religious rituals was forced underground and forgotten by pretty much everybody. That is until 1951, when R. Gordon Wasson, the only person in human history to be both a VP at J.P. Morgan and an amateur mushroom scientist, came across an indigenous tribe in Mexico using psychedelic mushrooms in religious ceremonies and decided to give them a go. He wrote an article about his experience for Life magazine called Seeking the Magic Mushroom, and boom, just like that, boomers were back on the map. The magic mushroom went on to become a symbol of the hippie movement in the 60s and 70s, and most recently has been used successfully in clinical trials to treat addiction, depression, and anxiety in people with terminal cancer. On a darker note, shrooms were blamed for a Columbus, Ohio man ripping part of his penis off in 2013. But who knows? That guy may have just been angry at his cock for years. In conclusion, boomers have been around way longer than baby boomers. They can be fun, therapeutic, and sometimes scary. But if you ever find them boring, they were probably purchased at a farmer's market.